You know, a Tesla wouldn't work here because there's no lines on the road. We made it to the KFC! But we're not going to the KFC. Everyone stay together. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, oh. don't stop. Oh. oh, we gotta cross another street. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's up guys, this video is brought to you by Audible, our go-to for news, comedy, information, inspiration, and we're giving away a free audiobook download, two Audible originals from a curated list of exclusive titles, and a 30-day trial membership. All you have to do is text HAF to 500-500 or visit our link in the description, audible.com slash HAF. You probably clicked on this video because you're intrigued by fast food, just like me. Or maybe you're not. But if you are, there are audiobooks all about it. So now you can eat fast food while you listen to fast food. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Right now, I've been listening to Fast Food Maniac. I highly recommend it. It's all about a man's obsession with everything from Arby's to White Castle. It speaks to me. Literally, it speaks to me. You know, because it's audio. And Julia really loved intermittent fasting. It's all about helping her eat all of her favorite foods without gaining any weight. I love her the way she is either way. So make one of these your free download by texting HGF to 500-500 or using the link audible.com slash HJF. Remember, your downloaded book is yours to keep forever and you can also exchange it, no questions asked. Are you guys already using Audible? What audiobooks do you recommend? Let us know. All right, we're here. This place is called Iron Steak and this is in District 10. I like District 10 because it's very homey. I guess there's some type of meat drink here that he wants us to taste. Wow. It's such a uh, travel food that the meat goes on top. It's a drink and a meal all in one. There's nothing better than wet meat. Mmm. It's marinated deliciousness. I love it. All right, guys, let's go. All right, can I have yeah, some yeah. now? Oh my god, good. What do you think? Eating out of a cup? Yes or no? Yes. All right, before we go to the KFC, I gotta get my hair did. I gotta look Vietnamese, just like Tin here. This looks really good right now. <laughs> oh, yep, you gotta stop for the bus. We learned that. Oh, uh, we found Sebastian. Michelle. Oh my God. Yes. So much anxiety is going through me right now with those streets. All right, Jules, we get made to the KFC intro time. Did you say it's intro time? I said it's intro time. Intro time. And we made it to KFC where anything can happen. Does that make JP my daddy? The home of the Cheetah. The home of the Cheetah. Mashies. Mashies. Are you just saying what I say? Yes. You know what it smells like? America. The total of everything that we ordered at KFC came to 600,000 dong, which is about 25 US dollars. Sounds like a great deal for a lot of food. Food is coming already. I don't know what anything is, so. Oh, the mashies. One's gravy and the other one's veggies. They didn't mark it or anything, so I guess we get to just like, bite in and find out. Can we just cheers all our balls together? Oh my god. This is like the KFC version of a soup dumpling because it's boiling hot gravy coming out and oh burning my, god, my mouth. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Dude, it's like a, a shepherd's pie. Smash or pass? Smash on the mash. Oh, I'm smashing it. But JP, can we take a moment to talk about this? Do you see these? These are the coolest sauce containers I've ever seen. They They're almost like saucers. Yeah. Yeah. My mind got blown. All right, let's keep it moving. I have here what looks like a skewer. This almost looks like street food. Like KFC's got their own street food. Oh yeah. See, this makes a Vietnamese person want to go to KFC. We're gonna peel it all off and mix it with the rice. After you eat the skewer, you have a nice little toothpick. So that's good. Next, we have something that's wrapped in tin foil. Uh oh, tin foil. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. My name is Tim. We got the combo, comes with a side of fries and a beverage, and uh, this gives us all a chance to grab a fry. Do you need a little dip? All right, what, what's the spice level on this? I'm about to die. Very spicy, but it's sweet. Oh. Ooh. It's spicy yeah. on the back end. Yeah, it's got a throat thing. Oh my gosh, JP's sweating from this. I don't get it. <coughs> that ketchup's different too, or is that just me? Oh yeah. It's different, right? Uh, yeah. It tastes oh, Vietnamese. Though. I, don't know. <laughs> I can't wait to open this. I need to know what's inside this little tin. And look at that. This is chicken at a KFC. What is happening? 
I want to eat it. Wait, I didn't even get any of that. No. It went too quick. <laughs> Super duper tender, spicy, really well seasoned. I can taste that black pepper. Oh, it's good. I like it, and I like it a lot. What is this? Guys, pause the screen right now. Comment, guessing what this is. Popcorn chicken. JP, you can't interrupt. Drum roll, please. I know. A little popcorn chicken. Is that right? Yeah. I was just joking. Look at that, oh, look at that crunch, thing. crisp to chicken ratio there. Everybody grab one. Let's do a popcorn cheers because we're corny. Mo yo. <laughs> yep, popcorn chicken. This is better than American. Yeah. Do you see the texture on these though? I know. They're so much nicer than like the popcorn chicken I'm used to in the US. I can't stop popping them in my mouth. Yeah, let's do the tamaki. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Look at the packaging. <gasps> And double open this. Oh, that goes all the way. Oh. Oh, that feels good. It looks like the nori, lettuce, the fried chicken. I think it's probably the same chicken as the zinger chicken, coleslaw, and uh, cucumber. This looks like a beautiful bite. And I really do like anything wrapped in nori. So I think this is going to be good. Can we do this together? Yeah. Cheers. Oh, my God. That is really good. Very good. This is my favorite thing I've ever had at any KFC. And then more. Is that the chizza? It's the chizza. That's the chizza. I don't know how to eat a chizza. Do I use a fork and knife? No. Look at this. All right, I gotta analyze it. It looks like they tried to glue together a chicken <laughs> breast with some chicken with some cheese there. Okay, they just want a cheese pull. That's why they did that. I hope you guys are happy. She just destroyed that for everybody. Whoops. It looks like um, possibly mozzarella and then they put seaweed on top. I'm gonna give it a taste. Personal opinion, I don't like cheese with chicken. Personal opinion, the chicken itself is amazing. The chicken is good, I don't need all that cheese. And it's a ton of cheese on there. This is Portuguese style egg tarts. Is, that, is it like a, a pastry with an egg custard? Yes. Yeah. I think we all just burnt the top of our mouth. It's super yeah. hot. You're gonna burn your mouth. That was the worst thing I've ever done. We should give the egg tart a little breather before yeah. I go in and destroy my mouth again. Well, that works out perfect because we actually have more things to try. Next. Is that a zinger? It's a sandwich. It's a banh mi. No. This is not a banh mi. It's a burger. They call burgers here anything that's in a sesame bun. So look how much mayonnaise they put on that first. Let's just kind of eyeball that. And the chicken. It looks like the same seasoning as that chicken that we had earlier that was inside of the tin foil. That chicken sandwich is more tender than any other chicken sandwich I've ever had at a KFC. Get it. That is the right amount of mayo. She's like, where should I bite? There's so much mayo. There's so much mayo. Oh, look at that mayo oh, yeah, just squeezing out. Oh, yeah. oh good. Tastes good. <laughs> yeah. This is so good. You like? You like it more. It's good, right? No, I want it like this. I'm recording, you recording me. Wow, they just keep bringing us out more food. Okay, guys. This is the KFC fried chicken. Let's eat it. It does taste like KFC. Are you guys getting those 11 herbs and spices? I'm tasting two. I don't think it's as like prominent here. No. JP is a savant of KFC chicken, so what he has to say is what's most important. Is this similar or different than the US? It's the same. It's actually spicier now that I've been eating more of it. Okay, JP, we have one more sandwich. This is the Zinger sandwich. So it's bottom bun, mayonnaise, the fried chicken, tomato, lettuce, and probably more mayonnaise on top. Ding, 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 ding. Mm. The chicken quality is better, and the crispiness is, is awesome. The chicken patty on there is huge. I just remember Zinger's not being like big, awesome sandwiches in the States. Tin's just going through the cabinets <laughs> at the KFC. What are you doing? I'm surprised you can even reach them. What, is what do you got? It's the ketchup. I think this is, a, this is the ketchup. There's vinegar inside. It's not Hunt's. It's definitely not Heinz. Wow, you can't play with that until you finish eating. Why? Because I'm your mom. <laughs> Does that make JP my daddy? <laughs> daddy JP, you want to split the stick of fish or is this a mozzarella stick? What is this? Oh yeah, that's not cheese. <laughs> this smells like any fish stick I've ever smelled. Wow, I've never seen that before. Likey? Maybe if you had that hot sauce or ketchup with it? How can you like that? This actually tastes like there's fish in there, but like good fish. Oh, they give you back to school supplies. That's so cool. Yeah, that way you know you just ate 3.5 inches of chicken. <laughs> the thing that was most surprising to me was the tamaki, the nori wrapped chicken. That is a go-to. If I'm ever back in Vietnam again, I will be eating that and that only. I don't need the bread. 
I don't need the carbs, cut it out. The pizza, I would say no based on the cheese situation. The sandwiches were great and the chicken is definitely better than the steaks too. I think that this is just all in all a great experience. My top favorite thing was the most surprising thing. I think it was that chicken, that, that roasted chicken thing. And then when they deboned it and put it on a sandwich, it just made it even better. I couldn't believe it was that good. We hope that you guys like this video. If you want to see more, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon too, because it'll notify you when we post. This is just the first fast food restaurant that we visited in Vietnam. We're going to check out some more too. Let us know in the comments your favorite fast food restaurant that you want to see us travel to in the future. We're going to end this video with getting our little friend. <laughs> Why are you to be little? A baby. <laughs> Why? Because we're getting you a kid meal. <laughs> I just wanted ice cream. This is the most generic soft serve I've ever had. And even though I look sad right now, I'm pretty happy. I just got a lot of free food and all I had to do is sit here with a dunce cap eating ice cream. Good job, that's a wrap. Oh no, I'm still hungry so I'm ready for our food tour tonight where we eat real Vietnamese food. Oh, is that a teaser for another video that's coming out soon? Oh, did I just give spoilers? <gasps> in Endgame, Thank you guys so much for tuning in and subscribing. Don't forget that you can also become a member for incredible perks, discounts, gifts, and appearing in our credits. There should be some videos on the screen. Make sure to check those out too. And remember, it's not healthy if it's healthy.